So guys, for the first method, you want to make sure the Epic Games Launcher is not running. So, you want to click on the arrow on your taskbar, and if you see Epic Games Launcher, you want to right click on it, and then click on Exit. Which is now going to close the Epic Games Launcher. Now, you want to head over to search again, and type in percent local app data percentage sign, click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to scroll down, you want to find both Epic Games and Epic Games Launcher. We're going to delete both these folders. Do not worry, these are just your temporary files. Once you open up Epic Games Launcher again, these files are going to appear again. So, we're just going to delete both of these, Epic Games and Epic Games Launcher, delete them both. And now, you're just going to open up Epic Games Launcher again, see if that works for you. And now for the second method, you want to head over to search, and type in add remove programs, click on it. And now once you're on this, you want to scroll down, till you find Epic Games Launcher, you want to click on the three dots, click on uninstall, and then you want to uninstall it. And now once you uninstall the Epic Games Launcher, you just want to re-download it again, see if that works for you. And now for the next method, you want to head over to search, and type in CMD, then you want to run it as administrator, and then click on yes. And then once you're on this, you want to type in ipconfig space forward slash flush DNS, click on enter. And now you want to type in netsh space winsock space reset, and then click on enter again. And now you just want to restart your computer, and then the problem should be fixed.